Hey there, Sun Seekers. We are on the Norwegian Breakaway. I'm so excited to bring you a full ship guided tour. Come with me. Let's go. I've made my way up to the main pool deck. This is deck 15 on Norwegian Breakaway. Nice large main pool. Nice little waiting area on either side that you can see. And then of course the traditional pool here. Uh, not quite sure of the depth. I'm gonna guess it's going to be around, uh, actually it looks like it's gonna be max depth. It's gonna be six feet, five inches is the max depth, depth of the pool here. Continue to make my way around. You can see a large jacuzzi coming into view here. Got the staff here is diligently cleaning, taking care of things, ready for a, another busy day at the pool deck. The two bars that you see there in the distance between that sign, the marketplace, are the waves bars. So these are your pool bars. Always quite busy. Bartender is very personable. Magic Mike's awesome. Always mixes a nice drink. I'm gonna come back and you can see another jacuzzi here. And we'll take a quick look at the one up here. Nice large jacuzzis, hugely popular, especially on cooler days at sea. And as I pan around, you're gonna see the stage come into view. This is a really cool spot. They have live bands up here, live DJs. Uh, and certainly when we boarded the ship, uh, they had a great band up there welcoming everybody on board, playing some awesome music to kickstart your vacation. Up here on deck 16, looking down on deck 15's main pool, you can see the stage, as well as uh, three of the four jacuzzis that are up here. Stage area is wonderful, great bands, DJs playing music all day long. This is the main pool. Talked about the Waves pool bar, it's making my way. They're getting things set up for an amazing day on the ship. There is one on the port side of the ship and there is another on the starboard side of the ship. I'm gonna stop here for a moment and pan up. Yes, coming into view, you're gonna see the water slides, but this is the marketplace. So this little area here that divides the two pools is an area where they will set up uh, little pop-up shops for shopping. So if you're looking to do some shopping, maybe you wanna buy yourself a hat, new bathing suit, maybe a wrap, you can do that at the marketplace. And this is just a look at the other side of the bar. On the pool deck here, you can see there's tons of sun loungers available facing all sorts of different directions. So if you want sun, you can get sun. If you would like shade, you can get the shade. And lots of sun loungers available. These sun loungers are available on deck 15, which we're on, as well as deck 16. Deck 16, you're not gonna get much shade because it is not covered. Uh, so if you really are seeking some, seeking some sun, you can do that. Let's pan across here and you've got your towel station. It's not open just yet. As you know, I like to film early in the morning. And now coming into view is the Splash Academy. So this is the children's water park, pool, and water slide area. So there are four water slides on board the ship here. This is another pool. Max depth here is four feet, seven inches. Just read the sign. I'll pan up and you can see those water slides. Kids love them, adults love them. If you dare walk up those stairs, an absolute blast. Now as I make my way around here, you're going to see the splash park that is open for kids. They've got their own little pool. They've got some sprayers. It looks like a little slide in there. We'll take a closer look. looks like two slides yes this little whale is a slide and this bit of coral is another little slide for your smallest cruisers 
this turtle this turtle here has got a sprayer oh thank goodness I wasn't too close come back around take a look at the rules here for the kids pool those are always important to familiarize yourself with those There are the rules. And the important one is number seven right there. No swim diapers and no children that are not toilet trained cannot go in this pool area. So if your child isn't toilet trained just yet or still wears swim diapers, they are not gonna be permitted into this space. And this is the Splash Academy here on the Norwegian Breakaway these amazing slides and the kids splash area. Up on deck 16, just wanted to take another close look at these slides. They're not open just yet, so I can't get right up there. Uh, when they do, I will get up there, but uh, here's an overhead look of the, the aqua park area here. Splash Academy, you've got a pool, you've got the exit to one of the water slides. And as I continue to make my way along here, you can see down below, they've got some life jackets. So if you've got a swimmer that uh, isn't as confident as you'd like them to be in and around the water, there are life jackets to be used here on board the ship. And this is an overhead look here of the Splash Academy water park or splash pad area. A couple of slides in there, some sprayers, keeping everyone cool on a hot Caribbean day. If you're looking to elevate your day on the cruise ship, maybe it's a sea day, check out the Vibe Beach Club. This is an exclusive area. So again, if you're looking to elevate your day for an additional fee, you can get into this private and exclusive area. Hell of elevated sun loungers. Let's take a look. I've made my way into the Vibe Beach Club. If you're looking to elevate a cruise day, or your entire cruise, you can get a pass that will get you into this exclusive space here on Norwegian Breakaway. You can see the lounge chairs are a little bit more elevated. Imagine cushions are going to be coming out there, uh, coming out later to go on top of these. Looks like sun umbrellas as well, so you can get some shade. We've got two beautiful jacuzzis, private bar. Continue to make my way down this area. You can see there are some private cabanas. So again, if you have an opportunity and you want to elevate your day, book yourself a pass here for the Vibe Beach Club. And if you want to take that up another notch, you can look at renting yourself one of these private cabanas for a little bit more privacy. Got two beautiful sun loungers clamshell on top to provide you with some awesome shade get you out of the sun when you want to be out of the sun there are quite a few of these available for rent so again if you're looking to elevate your day on the cruise ship you might want to consider checking out the vibe beach club about to make our way into spice h2o this is an adults only venue here on the ship there are some jacuzzis there's sun loungers and there's a bar, and this is an adults only area on the ship. Let's take a quick look. Oh wow, look at that beautiful sunrise. We're gonna be arriving at Costa Maya, Mexico today, spend a wonderful day in port there. I'm looking forward to it, but right now we are in Spice H2O. You can see this wonderful little kind of pool or waiting area that wraps around the side of the ship. And as I pan around, you're going to see lots of available seating, different seating as well. If you just want to have a casual chair, you can do that. You've got your traditional sun loungers as well getting set up for the day. A little video screen, they're playing some facts about Costa Maya. I'll pan back around, you can see one of the two jacuzzis coming into view. And I'll continue to make my way over to the other side. You can see some more traditional seating over here, chairs, and the bar area. So yes, this adults only area, Spice H2O does have its own bar. 
You grab yourself a nice cold beer, cocktail, or of course a nice fruity, slushy drink on your cruise. Because who doesn't like a pina colada or a strawberry daiquiri? This is Spice H2O. This is one of the real beauties on this cruise ship. So this is deck 678 Ocean Place and you've got the beautiful, beautiful chandelier. You can see deck 6, 7, and 8 all in view. It's a beautiful staircase here connecting all three decks. But Let's start our tour down here. We're gonna head into the French restaurant, Le Bistro. It's a lovely wine collection here in Le Bistro. Window that looks out onto deck six. You can see lovely table settings here in Le Bistro. This is a specialty dining experience. You can buy yourself a dining package if you'd like. We've purchased a three, day, uh, three dinner package. Very excited to come down here for a lovely meal one night. Great atmosphere, lovely decor. It's beautiful, beautiful table settings. This is the French restaurant. Le Bistro. Oh, I'm excited to go here for dinner. One of my favorites on any vacation is the Tapignaki. Let's quickly take a look at the menu. I'm actually gonna move back outside the restaurant here quickly. And you can take a look at the menu and what will be served to you. Tapignaki style, beautiful kimono. Let's check out Tapignaki. We are inside Tapignaki, which is appropriately named. This is the Tapignaki restaurant on board Norwegian Breakaway. You can see there are a lot of Tapignaki tables. I counted 12 when I walked in here. So you've got the main room here. You've got seating for eight around these Tapignaki tables. So if you've got a large group, you're probably gonna make, wanna make those reservations in advance so you don't miss out on an amazing tasty and entertaining tapenyaki experience. Hugely popular. So yes, please do make sure if this is something that you want to enjoy on your cruise vacation, make sure to make advanced reservations and be sure not to miss out on a wonderful meal here in Tapenyaki. Another one of the amazing bar and lounge areas. This is Mix. This is outside of two of the main dining rooms, Savor and Taste. Lovely bar, again, great mixologists. Lovely seating areas. We were down here the other night with our group, having a lovely time, enjoying a couple of cocktails and talking about our wonderful cruise vacation. Come back around, take a look at some of that seating again. This is Mix. There are three main dining rooms here on the Norwegian Breakaway. This is one of them, this is called Savor. And yes, you will indeed savor your food here. So this dining venue is open for dinner every evening by reservation or you can just show up at your leisure. Um, if you know that you want a particular dining time or you have a schedule you'd like to follow, do go into the Norwegian app, make yourself a reservation. However, it is not required. Uh, these venues are also open for breakfast and lunch um, according to a certain schedule, not every day. But uh, please, uh, again, pop into the Norwegian app and take a look at the daily planner and you will see when this venue is open for breakfast and lunch but traditionally this is open for dinner 
and this is included in your cruise fare. This is one of the three main dining rooms. This is Saver. Please excuse the reflection here, but I would like to, to take a look at the menu available in Saver. This is the second of three main dining rooms. This is Taste. This is included in your cruise fare. And this dining room is available for dinner with a reservation or without. This is also open for breakfast and lunch according to a certain schedule. So if you're looking to come down here and have an a la carte breakfast or lunch, do something a little bit different from the buffet, you're welcome to do that. Just make sure you make use of the Norwegian Cruise Line app to check on dining availability. Wonderful meals down here. Had a beautiful meal last night. This is Taste, one of three main dining rooms here on the Norwegian Breakaway. This is sample menu from Taste. I'll slowly pan down there, but if you want to take a closer look, feel free to pause the video. This is the Manhattan room. This is my favorite main dining room here on board the Norwegian Breakaway. This is one of three that are available. We've seen Taste and Savor. Let's take a look at the Manhattan room. Each of the main dining rooms have a little bit of a theme and a different uh, look, feel, and experience to them. Coming into view is what really gets me excited about the Manhattan room. It's right at the aft of the ship, but you have a beautiful band and dance floor. We had dinner here last night. There was a wonderful three-piece band playing amazing music while we enjoyed a fabulous meal. This is the Manhattan room. And to get into this is a complimentary dining venue on board Norwegian Breakaway. So this is open for dinner each evening. Um, if you would like to dine at a particular time every evening, yes, I would encourage you to go into the app and make a reservation. It is super easy to do. We got on board yesterday and within my first 10 minutes, I had all of my dining reservations made. However, dining reservations are not required. You can just show up here in the dining room at your leisure and you should be able to comfortably get a seat very quickly. Uh, again, Reservations if you'd like, but they are not required. This is the Manhattan Room, one of three main dining rooms here on the Norwegian Breakaway. And this is a quick look at the menu. The menus do change up every evening, so what I'm showing you today will not be the menu every each and every day of your cruise. Deck, deck eight, I've made my way up. A lot of the restaurants and some more bars and lounges. This is one of the specialty restaurants, La Cucina. This is the Italian restaurant. Looking forward to enjoying a meal here in a few days. Made a nice reservation for six of us. A lot of these dining venues, especially up here on deck eight, have outdoor seating. Uh, the waterfront. I'm going to try and take you out there, take a look at that, but you can, you can see some of that seating coming into view. You can only imagine having a wonderful meal here in La Cucina, and the soundtrack is that beautiful ocean. La Cucina, the Italian restaurant on board Norwegian Breakaway. Where possible, I will show you the menus to the dining venues. So this is a sample menu from La Cucina. There are two wonderful steak dining venues here on board Norwegian Breakaway. On the right, we're gonna have Cagney Steakhouse, and on the left, Moderno. This is the Brazilian dining venue on board the ship. So this is traditional Brazilian style where they walk around with skewers and they cut you off the most wonderful pieces of meat uh, as well as being served with an assortment of salads. 
So as you walk into what you believe is the entrance to these restaurants, you walk into the Prime Meridian Bar. So this separates the two dining venues, Moderno as well as Cagney's. So if you're looking to have a casual cocktail before your dinner, you can do that here at the Prime Meridian. So Cagney's is the steakhouse on board Norwegian Breakaway. Let's take a look. There is some outdoor seating available, it looks like. As we enter, you can see beautiful table settings. I'm filming early in the morning, as I normally do for my sun seekers that watch my channel. You know, I always, always like to film in the morning. And it looks like the amazing serving team here has the dining room set up already. This is a look at Cagney's Steakhouse. Looking forward to having a meal here. Actually, we're having it tonight. And just off from the Prime, Prime Meridian Bar, we have Moderno. So this is the Brazilian meat house or steakhouse dining experience. So right here is where you would have all of your salads available to be the perfect accompaniment to your meal. And for those of you that haven't had a dining experience here at a Brazilian meat house, I'll just explain it to you quickly. So you're gonna get set down and you're going to have these cards on your table. Green means go, means bring me more food, and the serving team will walk around, explain to you what they have on the skewer, and if you would like a piece, they will cut that off in front of you. When you need to take a break, you flip that card back over and it turns red and they know not to stop by. If you found something that you really like, make sure you let the serving team know and they can have that brought back to your table so that you can enjoy a few more pieces of whatever it is that you've enjoyed. Wonderful sea views here at the aft of the ship. This is a really fun dining experience. So if you've never been to a Brazilian meat house before, I highly recommend you make a reservation here at Moderno and enjoy the experience and the wonderful food. And depending on where you're at in terms of watching this video, you've probably noticed the theme. There is a wealth of dining opportunities here on the Norwegian Breakaway to suit everyone's taste. This is the Shanghai Noodle Bar. This is where you can come and, uh, as you may well guess, get uh, wonderful Asian dishes as well as sushi served traditional style, cooked right in front of you. This is Shanghai, the noodle bar. In terms of placing your order here at the noodle bar, you're provided with an order form and pencil, and you can make your selections. If you're looking to enjoy an authentic Irish pub experience on your cruise on Norwegian Breakaway, let's check out O'Sheehan's. O'Sheehan's is the Irish pub on board the ship. It's got that wonderful pub decor, wood, dark woods, leathers, this is a great spot to come and enjoy some traditional pub food, watch the game, and hang out with friends. It's a large venue here. You've got pool table, as well as some select arcade games that are available to play. But this is an absolutely massive venue and it is open for meals as well, breakfast, lunch and dinner. This is open 24 hours as well. So if you are got a midnight craving, you can come here to O'Sheehan's and get yourself a lovely meal. And hidden away at the back, don't know if many people find themselves here, but yes, they have a wonderful two lane bowling alley called Highway 66. A little pop a shot as we pan around. We'll make our way back into O'Sheehan's. This is the Irish pub. Continuing on with the theme of wonderful dining, here you have Wasabi, Ocean Blue, which is a seafood restaurant, and the Raw Bar. <clears throat> 
you know, wonderful sushi and sashimi here available. And now we're making our way inside Ocean Blue. Wonderful decor here. It is a bit of a smaller restaurant, but that's okay. Wonderful dining experience. If you are looking to enjoy a dinner here at Ocean Blue, highly encourage you to make a dining reservation. This one was the trickiest one for me to get. Again, I did make advanced reservations for six people. And this is the one that uh, had the least amount of availability. So if you are looking to dine here at Ocean Blue and enjoy fabulous seafood dinner, please open up that app and make yourself an advanced reservation. This is Ocean Blue. We're up here on deck 16. You're gonna check out one of the additional specialty dining options. This is the American Diner. Well, let's take a look. Take a quick look at the dinner menu from last night in the American Diner. So this has got your traditional handheld sandwiches and fries, salads, specialty uh, basket, seafood basket and pork spare ribs. This is not a complimentary dining uh, venue. So if you're looking to eat up here, there will be a surcharge, very, very nominal surcharge, but uh, absolutely fabulous food here in the American Diner. Love these high top tables, little bar area as well. So if you're having lunch or dinner in here, you don't have to go too far to get your next cocktail. I'm walking around at breakfast time, so none of the cooks are out just yet, but uh, come lunchtime and certainly by dinner time, this place will be quite busy with diners. This is a quick look at the American Diner here on Norwegian Breakaway. The Garden Cafe is the main buffet here on Norwegian Breakaway. Uh, they do have indoor and outdoor seating. This is a quick little look at some of the outdoor seating that's available. So if you want to have floor to ceiling views of the beautiful ocean while you're eating breakfast, lunch, or even dinner, you can do that right here. Super important. Stay healthy on your cruise, wash your hands lots, use sanitizer. You walk into the garden cafe, you've got a washing station on either side of the entrance. Keep yourself safe, keep everyone else safe. Wash those hands. And I've made my way inside the garden cafe. This is the main buffet here on Norwegian Breakaway. We'll take a quick look at all of the wonderful dishes, food you have available. This is breakfast and tons of available seating. Oh, unexpected pit stop here, the soft serve machine. This is a hit with my daughter. She loves to come in here and grab herself four or five ice creams a day. Lots of available seating. Continue to make my way through the garden cafe here. We'll take a closer look at some of the food options that are available to you. Lovely beverage station in here. Get your coffee, both decaf and regular. You've got water, juices, teas. They haven't opened up this side of the cafe just yet, so some of the items still have covers on them but they're getting ready to welcome cruisers as they wake up from a beautiful sleep. Yeah, we got some sausage, tomato, hash browns ready to go. Oh, a waffle station. Bacon. Lots of yummy things to have for breakfast. So the, cove, uh, the, the Garden Cove is at the aft of the ship. If you are looking to dine inside, you can see they have beautiful views the back of the ship. I'll make my way back through the buffet area. We've got some meats and cheeses, breads and rolls. Oh. Create your own omelet station. 
Got lots of wonderful toppings. We'll take a quick little look at that sign here. So these omelets are made fresh right in front of you. Or if you just want a traditional fried egg, they'll make that up for you as well. It's hash browns, bacon, sausages. Oh, hot pecan cinnamon rolls. My goodness, my wife would love that. Or if you're going for something a little bit lighter, you've got your cereals, milk, and yogurt. This was the Garden Cafe here on Norwegian Breakaway. And right by the entrance of the Garden Cafe, there's a hidden bar back here. A lot of people who might not make their way to the buffet area or don't make their way to this side don't realize there is a bar back here. Right now they're serving fresh juices and water, but during the day they also have an assortment of beers and other special cocktails available. There is that wonderful chandelier again, which spans deck six, seven, and eight. This is Ocean Place. This is the hub of the ship. Seen a couple venues already. This is Shaker's Martini Bar. Wonderful piano players here each evening. Create the soundtrack for a wonderful time here in Shaker's. Bartenders here are fabulous, mixing up wonderful cocktails, some of your favorites, and perhaps one you've never tried before. Because, after all, it's a cruise vacation. Try something new. Step out of your comfort zone. This is Shaker's Martini Bar. We're on a Caribbean cruise right now, but I feel like I need to cool off. And no better place to do that than the Sky Vodka Ice Bar. Let's take a look. We're at the Sky Vodka Ice Bar. We're getting a couple, a couple sweet northerns here. It's a little chilly for my liking on a cruise, but let's go with it. Cheers! Cheers! If you're looking to dance the night away on your cruise vacation, come check out Bliss. This is on Norwegian Breakaway. This is the nightclub and lounge. Just a wonderful atmosphere in here as well. Very chic seating available on one side. Nice big bar serving up wonderful drinks. And of course, that amazing dance floor. If you're looking to dance the night away, Check out Bliss, the nightclub. Another one of the amazing bar and lounge areas. This is Mix. This is outside of two of the main dining rooms, Savor and Taste. Lovely bar, again, great mixologists. Lovely seating areas. We were down here the other night with our group, having a lovely time, enjoying a couple of cocktails, and talking about our wonderful cruise vacation. Come back around, take a look at some of that seating again. This is Mix. Super fun entertainment venue, Sid Norman's Poor House. This is a bar and lounge. It's also a place to come and check out amazing shows. This is Sid Norman's Poor House. So this is a place to come. Little intimate little bar and lounge. Come and grab yourself a wonderful drink or cocktail and enjoy one of the fabulous bands that they have on board the ship. Again, this is in a very kind of small, intimate venue here. Sid Norman's Poor House. You can come down here, enjoy a drink, to the sounds of an amazing band. <laughs>
just outside of the Sid Norman Poorhouse and La Cucina, you have Maltings. This is just a little bar and lounge area, casual seating for you to enjoy a little conversation with friends, meet up with some new friends, and enjoy a cocktail. Isn't this appropriately named? Bar 21 is within the casino, and yes, we all hope when we're playing blackjack that that 21 comes up every hand, but if it doesn't, you've got Bar 21 right here serving up wonderful drinks and cocktails so you can enjoy your time here in the Breakaway Casino. A wealth of slot machines available. As I pan back around, you can see some of the table games coming into view. And this is just a small portion of the casino. It is quite large. This is quite a variety of games. You'll never have to fight to find yourself a spot at your favorite slot machine or table game. Just gonna keep walking through the casino here, try and see as many areas of it as we can. So we're coming into an area that has some more tables. You've got craps, roulette, So this is located on deck seven. 687 Ocean Place is the hub of the ship. You can see coming into our view here is that beautiful chandelier. As I pan down, you can see the stairs taking you to deck six, the French restaurant Le Bistro. Headliners is down there. And as I slowly pan up, a chandelier comes into view and you've got the casino and then deck eight up above. If you're looking to have a good laugh, head on down, deck six, Headliners Comedy Club. I've made my way into Headliners. This is the comedy club on board the Norwegian Breakaway. So tons of seating. These shows do get quite busy. Reservations are required. They can take some walk-ups, but uh, I, I I highly encourage you, if you do want to check out uh, one of the comedy shows, all of the comedy shows, that uh, as soon as you get on board the ship, uh, pop into the app there and look to make your reservations. This is Headliners, the comedy club. They do also use this space for a few other things. Uh, the other... This is a look at the Headliners Comedy Club. Hey there, Sun Seekers. One thing I'm really excited to try out on the Norwegian Breakaway is this ropes course behind me. It's a few things you should keep in mind. Closed-toed shoes are required, no loose, baggy clothing, and the height restriction. Okay, 48 inches is four feet. If you're above four feet, you can use the entire course. If you're under 48 inches, you can only use the bottom portion of the course with a chaperone. Let's check it out. And do I have to do the whole thing or can I just do part of it? No, you don't have to do the whole thing. You can just do just, just a few and you can always come back. Okay, cool. You don't have to do the whole thing. But it would be nice for you to go and walk the plank. Okay. You know you, what where you the plank is, right? No, I don't. It's on that side where you walk off the ship. Okay. Uh, is this your first so time, guys? It is my, well, this is my first time. Third time. He's professional. I'm, I'm very much amateur. Okay, so basically no running, no jumping, no swinging up there. You always must hold the single and it's at least one of your hands at all times. Okay. Uh, whenever you're trying to go on a platform and someone is already doing it, you must wait for them to reach the other side before you can go. Okay. So basically one person at a time. One person at a time. Got it. All right. Thanks, Antonio. I appreciate that. All right, good to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. It's a long way up.
<clears throat> wow, look at that pelican. Oh my goodness. See how my balance is after sailing for seven days. Oh Lord. Oh wow. Whew. My daughter would be so proud of me right now. <laughs> All right, this one seems easy. All right. <laughs> okay, we got some stairs. I can have Yeah, just some nice and easy stairs going up. There's that pelican again. Oh, that's the zip line, is it? Oh, tremendous. Now we're going across the zip line. Okay, is this your first time? This is my first time. Okay. So. Put both of your hands here. Okay. Good. The other one also. Okay, both yeah. right here. Yes. Okay. Walk fast and sit. Walk fast and sit. Yes. All okay. right. Are you ready? All right, here I go. Woohoo! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> wow. Oh my. Wowzers. I can't believe I'm so high up. There's the plank. I'm heading over to that plank. All right, this one by far is the wobbliest. I, I appear to be struggling with this one. How far does this plank go out? Eight feet outside the ship. Oh Lord. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, well, thank you. So far, so good. They say don't look down. I will look out. Hey, Sun Seekers, if you're on Norwegian Breakaway, you got to walk the plank. I think I'm done now. I'm ready to go back. There's that pelican again, a pesky pelican. Oh. A lot scarier than I'd anticipated, but 100% worth it. All right. How many decks up are we from here? Oh, uh, you're in deck 15, sir. Deck 15. Yeah, I'm in uh, deck 16. Deck 16. Yeah, deck 16. All right. Really big basketball and sport court area here on Norwegian Breakaway. You can see got a pretty much a full-size basketball court. Again, if you're looking to stay active on your cruise, just make sure you run this way. Yes, there's a jogging track here on board Norwegian Breakaway. Health and fitness, always hugely popular and important while you're on a cruise. You can check out the Mandara Spa and Salon in the barbershop, as well as the Pulse Fitness Center. Let's take a look. Okay, in one side of the fitness center, you've got a lot of your cardio machines, treadmills, ellipticals, rowing machines. It's a quick look at the fitness center, one side of it. And of course, on the other side of the fitness center, you have a lot of your lifting and strength and conditioning equipment. It's gonna come through here. I can't show the entire gym. People are up early using it. And they've got some yoga balls as well. But this is where you'll have a majority of your strength conditioning equipment. The barber shop on board, if you're looking to get a nice haircut or a shave or a beard trim, they will welcome you here in the barber shop. As I continue to make my way through the Mandara Spa and Salon, you can see we've got a couple treatment areas here. Manicure, or sorry, pedicures over here. And this is where you can get your hair colored or washed. Cruise vacations offer an immense amount of value and this is where you get a lot of that value is at the Breakaway Theatre. As we make our way into the Breakaway Theatre, on your right, or at least on my right, given the door I entered into, is a bar area. And we'll come into the theatre. 
you can see this is quite a large theater, plenty of space and seating for everyone to enjoy the show. Got all the proper production details with lights and sound. And of course, the amazing entertainment team who put on the most fabulous Broadway quality shows. This is a look at the Breakaway Theatre. And please do check the app and make reservations if you can. If there's a show that you know you don't want to miss, make yourself a reservation, get yourself a ticket so that you can enjoy a wonderful production here in the Breakaway Theatre. It wouldn't be a cruise ship if you didn't have a video arcade. Let's check it out. Kids love it. Adults love it. All your favorite arcade games. An arcade package is available if you want. Looks like we've got some car racing games, motorcycle racing games. Lots of lights, lots of sounds coming at you. I sometimes find it a little overwhelming. Looks like a little ski ball. That's one of my favorite games. Not because I'm particularly good at it, but I just enjoy it. This is a look at the video arcade. We are in the heart of the ship. This is 678 Ocean Place. So this is where decks six, seven, and eight all meet. You can see this is, you can get any assistance you might need on your cruise vacation, everything from the cruise consultants, the shore excursion desk, as we pan back, the onboard credit area, guest services, and where you can also make restaurant reservations. This area is a bit of an atrium. You've got a nice grand piano, nice large video screen, lovely seating available here as well. You can have a casual drink or a little hangout with some friends or maybe some new friends that you've met on your cruise vacation. This is the Connect Internet Cafe. So yes, I understand some people need to stay connected when they're at sea. You can do that here and borrow one of their devices or you can use one that you've brought. What would a cruise be without photos? This is Perspectives, the photo studio. So if you'd like to get some family photographs on your cruise vacation, you can set that up here as well. And what would the atrium or lobby be without a lobby bar? Yes, they've got one here as well. Great mixologists serving up wonderful drinks throughout your cruise vacation. This is the Atrium Bar. We are at the aft of the ship. It's a beautiful place to come out and just see the true power and the beauty of a cruise ship. 